Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a pretty awesome fifth wheel for you and it is in a floor plan that I have never really seen before. It's got one of the coolest bunk rooms, Murphy bed combo, you know, that I've ever seen. Uh, definitely unique, that is for sure. This is the 2024 Cardinal Red 39QB. Now down in the description, you will find a link directly to the pricing, but you'll also find all the specifications. Length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that good stuff. And it should pop up on the screen here. But if you guys like RV videos, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm down at Factory Connect uh, with Funtown RV, their PDI facility, and one of their retail locations up here in Indiana, where they prep up and prime up every single one of their units for the entire country. Really, really cool down here. So I'm happy to be here. Uh, I can also sell out of all 17 locations. But today we're gonna do probably about 15 to 20 minutes, start on the inside, work our way around the outside. Again, this is the 2024 Cardinal Red 39QB. And drop a comment, let me know what you think. So two bedrooms, two full baths. There is a lot to like about this floor plan. But right when you walk in, this is gonna be kind of like your your living room kitchen combo. So you see, you've got an oversized slide. I love that. You get massive, massive windows in this model, you know, which is really nice. I even like the accent lighting there that goes above the slide, but you have some recliners that kick back pretty darn flat. So you can take a little snooze a if you want. You also have an outlet right here. And then you got the oversized U-shaped dinette that also drops down to make a bed, more outlets and even storage there up underneath. The windows, the two side ones right here and right here are going to open up for a nice cross brace. The middle two are just going to be massive viewing windows and they all come with that kind of accordion style right there. Help you block out some of the sun, not quite full Dracula mode, but for the most part does a really great job. Spin it on a round. You can see nice open spacious floor because of this massive slide. Oh, and by the way, the slide height, I'm six feet tall. You're probably looking at about 6'3 or 6'4, so you don't have to worry about bonking your head. They also don't use the carpet, so that's a big plus. You got that linoleum, it blends in with the floor. You wouldn't really even know that it's there or even notice it, you know, if I didn't mention it. But directly across from kind of your, your seating area, uh, you do have plenty of storage all the way up and around, a lot of countertop space. But I mean, check this out. And I even like how they included, you know, a little step stool. So, you know, for those of you that are a little bit vertically challenged that can't quite get up into this top, you know, area. I mean, look at that. That thing is massive. You know, I'd be kind of in that and I'm six feet tall, but reaching into that, that is very, very deep. You also notice it's hands free. It's on the strut system. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Right here, you have the Furion 12 volt refrigerator. If you're not familiar with it, it'll run off of pretty much, you know, any electric power. So your truck, the solar, of course, the shore power when you're plugged in, but it's just like a, um, like a tiny residential refrigerator, but it's still, you can pack away a week's worth of food. Absolutely no problem. Just maybe not for all the people that you're going to be hauling in this thing. So you have a little oven right here. Perfect for like a pizza or some cookies. You got the three stovetop burner baby to whip up all the fixins. And then again, all that countertop space. So I love seeing this, how it comes out in that little, like whatever you want to call that, that like triangle looking thing. Pretty darn snazzy. You also got your undermounted bowl. This is going to be plastic. Keep down on weight, keep down on cost. This is going to be one that is much more budget friendly than most of the campers that are out there in this size. Hitting those dishes from all angles. Underneath, pretty clean cut storage with access to your plumbing. And then what you don't want to see, the plumbing is hidden off by that little partition. So that's pretty nice. Got a little hook right there, you know, for a towel. I like the storage, that's your welcome packet. So that'll have like your owner's manuals and all that. And then you do get, look at that, soft clothes. Pretty darn snazzy. And then you have your viewing window, your microwave, a little place for, you know, some wine. Pretty darn nice, pretty darn nice. I like seeing that. But I've been selling Cardinal for, uh, I think seven of the last 10 years, seven of the last, you know, seven of the last 11 years that I've been in the RV market. And I've always really liked Cardinal. I think they look really nice. They're cost effective. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on for Cardinal that's, you know, doing a good thing. And the slide out here in the living room is also pretty darn nice too. 
So again, six feet tall with average size arms, reaching all the way up to the ceiling. You do not feel claustrophobic. You got plenty of space. It's really great for those rainy days. You got the top cabinetry with the black ice glass insert. So I like that. Both sides are gonna be exactly the same. You got a TV here, the Summit TV, that's gonna be on a swivel. You also got a couple USB ports there, a couple little storage both left and right of the Furion fireplace, and that puts out 500 BTUs of heat. It's gonna come in you know, really prime when you're trying to save money on that propane during the colder months. But if it's you know, 50 degrees or so, it'll knock the chill out of this room completely. And if you get the proper circulation, it'll even go back into the bunk room. Now this is what I'm gonna show you now. This is kind of like a little, like a little suite back here. So you have dual opposing slides. This side has the bunk. You also get a window, emergency exit, pull, push, and plop. But look at that. Pretty darn snazzy. And then you flip it around. Outlet. An outlet, by the way. But you flip it around and you got a sofa. So whether you're, you know, setting up camp and just chilling, reading a book, or if you have those extra guests, all you do is you take this, flip it down, and boom. A big old Murphy bed. Now I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the screen real quick, and then I'm going to pull this down, and then I'll be right back. One hour later. All right, all right, all right. We are back in action. So that's what the Murphy bed is looking like. You can see a queen-size bed. I couldn't do it with one hand in the camera, but with two, you don't even have to put in that much effort. It's just a latch here, a latch there, and then you drop it down, you know, for the, for the footing you know, right here as well. But I love this feature. One, this could be an awesome playroom if you got kids. We've got four kids at home. Space is always kind of an issue. And in this one, you know, you can let them kind of go off and do their own thing. On those rainy days, that is absolutely prime. You got a sink, a little bit of storage underneath. You got a mirror to check out the old bowling gun, baby. A good size shower. And I'll tell you, I mean, this is pretty awesome. And the, the height on this is pretty darn nice too. So you can see, I mean, again, six feet tall, not to keep overstating it, but you got extra room. I mean, you could be, you know, Shaq, and you could be, you know, dining in this, as long as you were a skinny Shaq, maybe a Snoop Dogg. So right here, you got the little hooks, just waiting for you to hang up a towel. Dual entries, so one where I walked in, and then this one here off the back, which is really nice. I would use this, you know, when you're out camping um, and hanging out. I would make this kind of the in and out section, and then maybe the cleaner feet can go in through the kitchen you don't do the fixings. But again, Murphy bed, two bunks. We'll head back into the living room where you get another opportunity to kind of see that kitchen. 12 volt refrigerator, all the storage looking as beautiful as ever. Got the recliners, the dinette that drops to a bed, massive windows, a nice TV fireplace. This thing's got the works. And then you head up into the bathroom and you see a lot of really good space. You also got some hooks where you can hang up some towels. You got the foot flush toilet. And then you have another shower. And I like how it's got this right here. Create yourself a little bit of privacy. And I'll go ahead and jump in this one too. So you see this head height is still not a problem. You get plenty of size. And as a round belly myself, this isn't so small that you have to tape sponges to the wall, you know, just to get clean. And sorry, it's pretty cold here in Indiana. So we pulled it into the warm. The windows are a fogging. But you get your idea there. Sink, more storage, outlets, little cubby for some toothbrushes. Check that out. Now we head into the bedroom. You're going to notice you get plenty of walk around rooms. So that's really nice to have. Another bed, washer and dryer over here in this corner. Now I'm not quite sure if that's a standard or if it was ordered that way. Funtown does have a tendency to order quite a few options. So make sure to ask your sales representative if it is not me, if that does come standard or not, because I am not positive. Flip it around. You got yourself an emergency exit. So pull, push and plop. You can get out in a hurry. You got yourself a dresser with an outlet on the side. Boom. And then right there, bada bang. You got a place where you can put a TV, you got your countertop space, and you got plenty of plugins. And there is a backer back there, you know, so you can put a TV. Right here is going to be your closet. It's on those barn style doors right here. But you notice you got some overhanging action. Really good storage. Behind here, you got a cubby where you can throw up, you know, some shoes and some odds and ends items. And then on both sides, you got that. But I really like how the washer and dryer isn't up here and it is inside, you know, the closet space right over there. I'd venture to say that's definitely not a standard. 
I think normally you'd probably just have like a big old closet. But all right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the inside portion of this tour. Again, this is the 2024 Cardinal Red 39QB. But now let's head around the outside, show you what she's all about. Probably about another, you know, four minutes or so and wrap this thing up. But in case you missed it the first time, all the specifications, tank sizes, awning sizes, length, height, all that good stuff, and the pricing will be down in the description of this video. 2024 Cardinal Red 39QB. And as you can tell, this is not a small camper by any means. So you're probably going to want to pull this with a 2500 you know, or a 3,500, you know, something like that. Depends on the 2,500 for sure, but you'll definitely want to get with someone, you know, to help you out with that. You have propane up here behind this door. Massive amounts of pass-through storage. So I like seeing that. You're also going to show off that aluminum frame construction. And you'll notice too, that it's welded on all points. Two outlets and a cable hookup. A big old awning with the LED lights that are running underneath it. And you even have that orange glowing light to help you kind of get in and out of the door, which is pretty nice. The step above steps that flip up into it, but they also have the weather strip. So on a day like today, you know, it's 25 degrees. We got about two inches of snow on the ground. That's going to be really nice because it's going to be a little bit sturdier. So you're not slipping around. I don't know why they got this, but you got a little bottle opener. Most of those campers don't like to drink, but crack yourself an old uh, apple juice. Dual axle. There's that second entrance with that second full bath. That is just awesome. You're heading up the back now. You can get on top of this roof, check your seals, check your slides. And right there, you're prepped for the Lippert on the go ladder. It hooks on in, so that way you can get on top you know, and check everything. You also are prepped up for the Furion observation camera. So you, you purchase that, you get it put in, you get a four and a half inch screen, you suction cup right onto your windshield and you can see what's going on behind you with some distance markers while you're driving. It's also got a built-in mic, which is pretty darn nice. This is gonna be where you're gonna plug in the unit. You can put slide toppers. So if you're not familiar with the slide topper, it's a piece of awning that goes from here to here and prevents any debris from falling on top. Uh, that is definitely a nice feature to have. If you're ever gonna have a leak, it's usually gonna come from the slide. When you pull it in, that tree branch punctures the seal. You're gonna have a bad day. All right, let's see here. A little sticker shows you where the waste holding tank is. Nice and easy right there. And then you got another one. Right here. Suburban on-demand hot water heater. So it's pretty much instant heat. You're ready to rock. The back end here of the pass-through storage. And then you got your battery box with the power disconnect your different water inlets, and then your black tank flush, which is basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank, your landing gear controls, hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower, and then your low point drains, uh, where you see those little blue and red tubes are gonna be right down here. But all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Again, my name is Hunter, and this was the 2024 Cardinal Red 39QB. I appreciate you. Hit that like and subscribe button. Have a good day. See ya.